Hello, good morning, good evening, and welcome to Big World Cinema. Without further ado, we'll continue with what you're here for. And to ensure this channel survives, please don't skip the ads. Thank you. I was glad to be leaving Puerto Galera and heading for Palawan, although that was a couple of days away yet. First stop, Calapan. In hindsight, I should have continued staying at Jack Daniel's apartments. For the small amount of pesos I saved moving to Tropicana, it really wasn't worth it. Yeah, the swimming pool was better and I got a chance to stay in a castle. But the internet, even though it was Starlink, was rubbish and wouldn't connect at all to my laptop. So I didn't manage to get any work done. After taking a trike to Puerto Galera, I took a jeepney that took just over an hour to reach Calapan. So now in a jeepney going to Calapan, the capital of Indoro. It's now 10.45 Thursday morning, 100 peso ride. Like other islands, Mindoro is split into two provinces, Occidental Mindoro and Oriental Mindoro. Calapan is the capital of Oriental Mindoro. I'd see some of Calapan overnight there, then take a couple of vans the following day to San Jose on the southern coast, where I'd overnight again before catching a ferry the following day to Caron on Palawan. This is my destiny. Destiny's hotel is pretty kinky. I imagine it's the sort of place rented out by the hour in other towns. The majority of rooms were windowless. The only bedroom that did have a window had a dodgy AC leaking over the bed. But I persuaded them to let me stay in it anyway and just use a standing fan. What a great place for a photo shoot. I'm not fond of noisy ACs anyway. Yeah. 
17 and not yet a woman and there's the outside view Dominated by the McDonald's drive through sign. I've moved the table over here into the light. The desk, the table <laughs> was in that corner there. With only a window onto the corridor, so I moved it to here. Desk set up with all my, with all my work gear on the, on the bed. <laughs> It's got good Wi-Fi, which has been great, which has been great because in the last place there was no Wi-Fi on my lap on my laptop, which was very annoying. Sink, toilet, cold water shower, unfortunately, but anyway, thousand pesos. A little bit claustrophobic with that shelving unit there, it's a bit strange, but anyway. I've got some work done. Just checked into Destiny's place. Got a room for 1,000 pesos online today on Agoda and Booking.com. It was 1,400. I always like to go up to the desk first before booking and asking how much a room is. And they asked for 1,000 pesos. This is probably the first time in the last three weeks that a hotel's price has been less than the booking sites online. I don't know why other hotels don't charge a lesser rate than Agoda or booking.com because the money goes straight to them and they don't have to pay any commission. But when I was traveling before, for four months before, at the end of last year and the beginning of this year, I was finding many hotels where I just walk up and ask for a price and the price will be cheaper than booking on Agoda or booking.com but this is the first time this trip that I'm saving 400 pesos by paying direct isn't that amazing so I'm in the food court at Centro Mall if you can call it a food court there's only two places open I think so I have pork tapa at 93 peso yum 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 hello so this is Calapan More. I spent the afternoon in Calapan working in my hotel room. Finding a hotel with decent internet connection is a major priority when deciding where to stay now. Almost more important than comfort, otherwise I'm unable to upload my YouTube videos. So this is New City Central Mall. Hello, how are you? Are you good? Are you talking to me? Yes, sir. Oh, the Philippines is full of these malls that are left to run to rack and ruin. Sort of mall that have been closed down last century in the West. But there's so many of them in the Philippines. There's so many of these types of malls that have just been left. It's just two extremes, either lovely malls or malls that have been left. I've got no idea what this place is, but I was drawn by the uh, 
strange statues outside the front, covered in plastic. Uh, just very weird. But here we are in Calapan next to some strange statues. Lovely. I met a lovely couple, Kenny and Denise, and I said, which is a good place to go to in Calapan? They said, go to Capitolio. They've got a new fountain. So I took a trike for five minutes along the road for 20 pesos. I arrived at Capitolio and the fountain is of course under maintenance. Now there are two signs. One says it will be closed for maintenance from the 20th until the 30th of October. And the other sign says it will be closed from the 19th of October to the 30th of October. And of course today is the 19th. So as some lovely young students said to me, only in the Philippines. Here at BWC, Uncle doesn't charge a subscription fee like Auntie does, but buying us a coffee would be much appreciated. Thank you. Excuse me, how do you pronounce this name? Is it Wan Chao? Wan Chao. Wan Chao. Choose. Okay, thank you. I'm at Wan Choose. <laughs> and I have a cheesy mushroom and bacon burger um, fries. So this is 200 pesos, which is four dollars. Something different. Calapan wasn't worth stopping off at at all. There was nothing there. It's strange how these towns or cities consist of just establishments built on the side of the main highway. In Calapan I checked the bus times of the Ceres bus that goes directly to San Jose. The buses only run four times a day. It travels along the road where I was staying and was meant to pass by between 9 or 10 a.m. and then again later between 12 or 1. What I should have done was go directly to the port at Calapan two kilometers away where the Ceres bus leaves from at a designated time and caught it from there. Bit of a schoolboy error really, I should have known about that. So instead I caught the 9am van that left from the depot at the end of my road to Bulla Lakau instead, which was packed and I was directed to a seat right at the back. There's no room, I don't know where you're going to sit. There's no room, it's full up. What subjects will you have today? Do you, do you 
have English lesson? Yes, of yeah. course. Oui. Yes, of course. But, uh, no, but <laughs> we are. We can never Practice your English no. with me. How? By asking questions. We are trying to help you to submit that. Yes. Well, we go. <laughs> Are you going home? Yes. So you've got no time to practice English now because you're going home. We have almost 30 minutes to practice. Okay, come on then. <laughs> this is your chance to practice your English with an English speaker. I do have a channel. My name is Philip and my channel is Big B I G G World. Cinema. Thank you. Been doing it for one and a half years. So I now have eleven thousand. Yeah. I've been here three and a half years. Don't ask me if I speak Tagalog because I don't. Come on then, teach me. Yeah, teach me. I know salamat. That's the only word I know. Magandang umaga. Yes. That means morning. <laughs> okay. Good morning. So you're in the you're in the focus now. You're the you're the you're the spokes wow. lady. Do you want to talk about? I want to anything anything you want to talk about. I will talk about. I believe. I'm from England. Uh, well, I'm, at the moment I'm traveling. I'm traveling. So I'm on my way to Palawan tomorrow. Palawan. Sorry, Palawan. Where exactly in Palawan? Well, I'm going, getting a boat from San Jose to Coron. Oh, wow. That's, that's a beautiful place. You have very beautiful islands in the Philippines. Yes. You are very lucky. Away from pollution. And noisy Surrounding. school children. I'm joking. But we have lot of Latin here. You have? <laughs> the noisy. You are very noisy. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I admit it. I am very nice. Which group do you like? The script. And the script? One Direction. One Direction are from my country, from England. Oh, yeah. The script might be UK as well, I think. As it was. Yes, it was. That's the one I really love. Yes. Yeah. That's so fun to listen to. What time does school start? Um, 1 p.m. Well, it's 1 in the afternoon. But it's now 12.58. Yeah, but it's fine. What do you mean it's fine? We're excused. Why are you excused? We attend, we a, attend a summit there. Oh, what sort yeah. of summit was it? What was it's the summit? It's all about, about mental health. Okay, that's good. That's great that they're encouraging that. In my past, I have suffered with um, mental health issues. What exactly? What? Uh, just, just uh, depression. Yeah, yeah. For how many years? Um, it sort of went off and on for a few years. Um, you're taking meds? No, I never took any meds. I just. But you're going to doctors? I went to the doctors. Yeah, and I was diagnosed with mild depression, but I never took any medication. I just. Uh -oh. um, but you're not. I'm not I'm, fine. I'm now 99 percent um, I, I know my triggers and i know what sets off my depression now so i you can you understand or not no okay i kind of can understand your accent okay sorry okay but that's fine the course that i yeah. want to study i think i want to take psychologist law or psychology i really love Memorizing Republic Acts. Gosh. And also, I I'm really fond of you know the OC. Do you do you watch any uh, programs on uh, law law um, no, actually, series? But I read them. Oh, that, you read yeah. case studies. I'm not, I'm not a fan of watching since I got bored. Okay, but you read case studies about law. A bit. <laughs> I think more on stories. Okay. Like novels. So there's. 
not really an accident, but something. <laughs> a, a sort something of a, that a, a sort of accident. Not, not actually a, an accident, but a problem. A road problem, you know, <laughs> like someone oh. interrupts us oh. in the road. Oh dear! It breaks suddenly. Oh, I see. Didn't feel it though. Did you feel it? The sudden. Oh. Seems to be okay now. We're now on our way. Where are you staying today? I'm staying in San Jose. Mm. So it's still far away from here. That's a very long trip. Yes. Trip. Yes. Wow, there's an accident. Have, <laughs> Occidental, accidental. Have you? Occidental. I know. I, know. I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> My friend here wants you, are the viewers, to see her face. She's really beautiful. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I think she wanna. She, she wanna, wanna answer work. some questions okay. from you. What's your like okay. the exact name of your Did channel? Did you not remember? I said it five minutes ago. Nobody ever I mean, remembers. I mean, I'm joking. It's Okay, I'm, I'm, you can be the you can be the you can be the camera lady. Hello guys, these are my friends. Pointing at the back of the seat. Oh. You're not very, you're I'm, not, I'm very you're sorry. Not very, you're not a very good camera lady. Okay, so what is your name? My name is Lee Blessing. And Kimberly and Mateo. Kimberly. Trixel. 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 I am Ella. Hello, Ella. I love it. Raniella. 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 Yes. Rial. Rial. Pronounce it properly. Rial. Jurial Jake. Thank you. What as a title? Uh, well, it's the journey from. Palawan. And you're right. Yes, journey from. Um, where did I start? I started in Calapan. The journey from Calapan to. It will be a great vlog because you've all made my vlog. You've made it a great experience. Well, thank you so much. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Take home. care. Going home. Late for school then? in the morning. Is there any discipline? Do you get um, sold off? Do you get um, detention or anything? Or um, actually, our teachers will, will get mad. Like, yeah. This week, our advisors will talk to our parents. Okay, do they not talk to you first and say, Don't be late tomorrow? I told that earlier. <laughs> like, I, wait, long, Google Translator, please. <laughs> our teachers will talk to us first, and then yeah. our parents. Oh, it's worse for the you. First one. So, do your parents not? We're near. You're near. Yeah. Your parents are um, not very strict, they don't. Okay. okay. It's a compound. Oh, a compound. <laughs> yeah. so, sounds like a prison. A bit. <laughs> We're going. So, so thank you. It's so nice to meet you. And bye. you. Bye bye. Enjoy school. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. On arriving in Bula Lakao, I had just 10 minutes spare to grab a quick bite to eat, then jumped on the 2pm van. 
heading for San Jose, which took just over an hour. run over. Okay, six hours after leaving Calapan, I've finally arrived in San Jose. And I'm sharing my trike with uh, lots of chilies. Lovely. In San Jose, I met a Belgian guy with his French girlfriend who had left Calapan three hours after me. Had paid the same price, but had a much more comfortable journey and arrived in San Jose not long after me. We were all staying at the Red Doors Hotel in San Jose, where check-in took so long, having booked online, it was as if their online booking system wasn't in tune with the front desk. The girls who manned the front desk, however, were pretty cute and one of them called me a sexy man for my age. Wahey! So this is my room at Red Doors. No windows. I hate rooms without windows. I feel so claustrophobic. AC is okay. That's what you get for 1500 pesos. Beds, wardrobe, desk, TV. TV doesn't work. Bathroom. Bathroom, shower, sort of warmish. No heater though. Doesn't plug into there, that is not a plug socket. Off the TV, there is a plug socket. Someone has just pulled the plug socket out from the TV. This is just ridiculous. Just a quick reminder to please click the thumbs up button if you like the video or thumbs down button if you didn't. Obviously. Thank you. been watching Uncle, the man from Big World Cinema. 
please like and subscribe and send cash.